Hello. <laughs> this lovely chestnut's name's Mr. Aird. And the beautiful lake before me here is Spur Royal Castle Lake, some 60 miles west of Belfast. It's a great water for pike fishing. And in complete contrast to a lot of waters in Ireland, which most of people think of the huge, intimidating locks, this is only about 15, 20 acres, but it is exceptionally good fishing. It's where the actual accommodation comes in with the fishing. So it's a nice place for the pike fishermen to have a go. There's some stagings along here, and there's a boat over in the boathouse there. So I've got the option of fishing either. In fact, I don't really know what to start with. Let's go and have a look. decided to come out in the boat to start off with because there's quite an interesting marginal shelf here. There's about 60 yards out from the bank. is all lilies and weed. Looks a good spot for pike. And behind me, it shelves down to about 15, so I'm going to whack a dead bait on a free line that side of the boat. Just leave that out there, see if there's anything big in the deeps. I'll put it on an elastic band and I can keep an eye on that. It's well within my vision. So should that suddenly go? And then on this rod, I've got a surface popping plug. I love fishing in this sort of situation. I'm going to sit down all the time, though, unless I have to really have to stand up, because in this clear water over weed, the fish can see me easily. Back that out over near the staging. That staging looks... A very good spot to fish from, actually. I think I'm going to have a go from there later on because there's another staging up the other end. Because being so far out into the, the lake, it allows you to cover such a lot of water. A pike love to line these little situations between lily patches. I'm just gurgling and wobbling this plug through the weeds. It's almost clear enough for me to be able to see a fish come out and lunge at it. Let's try one near the shore. It's a lovely spot here. I can just about cover the entire radius around me. Beautiful spot. I'm so lucky with the weather, too. I love these gurgling pots. No takes yet, but this is just the sort of depth of water, about three or four feet, plenty of weed that summer pike like to lie in, waiting to ambush the, the roach as they come by. Sometimes you get a take right by the boat, so I'm going to leave that and just give it an extra twitch. Fright the life out of me if something grabbed that now. A lot of water to cover here, so I'm not going to thrash any one spot, cast after cast. I'm just going to keep chopping and changing, give each spot a cast. Oh, where's a fish straight away? Ha! <laughs> it missed it. <laughs> I wonder if it'll take it again. It was only a little one. But it came out and tried to bat it in mid-air. That was fantastic. Oh, he's got it again. Yes, we're on. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic sport, this. He's only a small one. I think that must have followed that in again. Oh, we're stuck in the west. A lot of weed down there. There's a lot of weed. Whoa. I have to lean over because he's going round the. Don't want him round the. Whoa! We don't want him round the anchor rope. No, he's not very big. He's all covered in weed as well. Come on, my son. Well, you certainly wanted that, didn't you? Now, is he ready to glove out? No, he's not. They love tail walking these fish in the summer. I don't think he's going to tail walk for us again, though. Are you? No, he's festooned with weed. Completely covered in weed. Let's glove him out. I don't like using a landing net for pike because when I'm using lures, the treble hooks easily get caught in the mesh and, and they twist and it 
Sometimes <laughs> he hasn't finished yet, has he? Sometimes it takes you a hell of a time to free them, so you've got to be careful of these hooks. I just prefer to unhook them in the water. I think we'll try and unhook you in the water. If we can. There we are. And he's back in. None the worse for his efforts. That was a nice fight. Half a dozen of those in a day is going to really make my day. Let's just check the wire trace. Now that's OK. When they're caveting on the surface, you've got to be so careful that you don't get any kinks and, and then snap off on the very next cast. Right, well, we'll let that area calm down a bit and we'll whack one out over here. There's obviously some fish lurking in these these pads. There's an awful lot of milfoil coming up from the bottom too, and some thick beds of the broadleaf potamagetan. I do love these surface plants in Ireland, where you haven't got too many chemicals running in off the land. You tend to get a much better variation in surface plants through those lilies. <laughs> That's really working well, that popper. Let's try one to the shore again. <clears throat> well, for a fish that wasn't much more than about nine or ten pounds, that one really did put up a good, short, hectic scrap. I'm on the 11-pound test here. Fishing any light is a bit foolhardy with all these weed. And it's quite sufficient to get a good fight out of pike of just about any size. And the rod's quite soft too, although it's got a bit of backbone down below for putting the hooks home. If a pike really wants it, it tends to grab it and put the hook, puts the hooks home itself. Just splash a bit of weed off there. No, I can't get rid of that bit. Oh, it's come off. <laughs> Have a look at the free line. No, nothing's touched that yet. Let's go that side. I do like this pike in here. Though. It's a gorgeous day to be out piking. I'm normally sitting wrapped up in waterproofs on the broads, wondering when I'm going to have enough of it. But uh, summer pike fishing is great. I love working surface lures. Any second, your anticipation tells you that a big head could come up and bang. Let's have a cast to the right over by that. Big patch of yellow iris. Let that ripple die down. Any pike that's out there has heard it coming. Possibly looking at it now and coming to investigate. Now let's give it some life. This popper's got a lovely propeller on the back, so when I'm just pulling like that, it's going round and round and creating a, a tail pattern that some little fish might make. When a lot of anglers see a great variety of plugs in tackle shops, a lot of them tend to think that they're only there to catch the angler, and I suppose <laughs> there's some truth in that, but a lot of them are designed to do specific things. This one's only a surface lure. It doesn't dive at all. It pops and gurgles and churns through the water. Whereas other with, others with quite large veins on them are obviously meant for diving deep. If you look at plugs, anything with a, a vein on the front of it is obviously meant for diving. And these surface poppers are without veins. No. Hello, I've got to run on that dead bait. God, look at that, it's bombing out. Let's hit it straight away. Yes! God! <laughs> oh. It's not doing anything. Oh, I think it's a small fish. It's kiting a bit to the left now. Well, it's about time we had a bit of action on that. <laughs> it's a small fish. 
<laughs> he can hardly manage that. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, come on around this side, it's easier. Hardly manage that uh, half a mackerel. Look at it. <laughs> Ooh. <sighs> right, in you come. <laughs> Hello, he's come off. You can have this bit of bait now. I think I'm going to move. You can only work a, an area so much with lures before they start to get a bit twitchy. And I think I'm going to go into the shore. Maybe come out in the boat later on, but I'm going to go in for the, into the shore for the time being. And try from that staging over there. There's a nice wide area there that I can keep the lures working. to be very quiet doing this because these vibrations do carry so much in water. Well, here we are. We're on the staging. I've tied the boat up and we're on terra... No, it's not terra firma, is it? It's, <laughs> it's a floating pontoon. It's not too bad, though. Don't like all these ripples that send out. Any pike in the close proximity to him quite easily know there's somebody walking on water. <coughs> well, that's a good cast, right between those lilies. That's not far short of where I was in the boat. It's funny, once you've up anchored and moved, there's pike will come into the area because if they're on the hunt, they're on the move all the time anyway. And whereas they might not move into the area whilst you're out there in the boat, they'll soon move in afterwards. And so you can quite happily fish to where you were in a boat half an hour beforehand, once you're back on the bank. Quick look at the dead bait rod, nothing's happening with that. I really do think with these conditions that it's it's surface lures and perhaps wobbled dead bait. Now I've put that very close to those leading sedges there. That's the sort of place where they they love to lie. Let's leave it a second. Give it a switch. Now here we go. Yes! <laughs> that was to his fancy. You little devil, you. You know, you've got to think like these. You really do. <laughs> oh, he's all covered in weed. He's not a very big one. <laughs> uh, look at you. <laughs> in fact, he's all caught up with weed and the plug. Mm. You are a tiddler. But uh, you've just proved my point that pike don't need to be big to give you fun. Whoops, hold on, hold on. Let me just take the plug out, if I can. That's better. Put the forceps down. Predation in miniature. Look at that. Perfect little fish. Absolutely beautiful. Where you go. Well, I've put the lure rod down. I've actually got a run on the dead bait run. I'm just going to hit it. Yes, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. oh that's a thrasher. <laughs> it goes straight for those lilies. It's not an enormous fish, they don't laugh. Oh, now it's coming to say hello. Oh, <laughs> God, that's tremendous. Do that again. Oh, yes. Woo. Oh, that is wonderful. <laughs> that was a good jump. Come on, in you come. Oh, he's going to go again. <laughs> they come up and they look at you with one beady eye and think, blow you. Whoa. Incredible power. So much more fun 
Getting pike in the summer when they're up there fighting best. Oi! <laughs> well, you are the star of the show. You really are. Up you come again. Ah. Unbelievable strength. Come on now, in you come. In you come. Ah. What a lovely fish. You were tremendous. You've given me one of the best fights I've ever had from a pike, I think. What's that, about £10? Isn't it lovely? <laughs> Let's see if they'll hold on a bit longer with the dead bait. I've got a smelt on. I've got no shots on the line at all. Just the smelt. And I should be able to just gently twitch this across the surface. They were very vicious takes on the surface there. Very vicious. Oh, we're in weed. It's a lot of weed out there. Hell of a lot of weed. Just twitching it through the lilies. This can be a deadly method when there's fish that aren't really getting hold of lures very well. Just keep it twisting and gyrating across the surface. Oh, that's got too much weed around it. Some of the soft weeds here, the milfoil and the hornwort, comes right to the top. And so it's very difficult to get the, the bait through it. Let's have a cast out. Keep it up on the surface, that's better. There's pipes. Oh, here's one. He's got it. Yeah, he's got it. Let him go away a bit. And we'll hit it straight away. I think he's got hold of it fairly well. Yes, here we are. Come on, my son. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Flung the smelt out then. Well, they're lively, these Irish pipe. <laughs> that was a real good tail walker. Hello, he's covered in a bit of weed, I think. Now, is that all you're going to do or not? No? Oh, he's not very big at all. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I think we'll beach this one. I have to sink that uh, dead bait line first. Come on, over you come. Whoa! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> No, you don't. Trouble is, when they do this here, tail walking, they're inclined to throw the hook, so I've got to be careful. There's a nice patch of grass up there. Let's, uh... Hello, he's lining up. Let's beat him over there. Come on. Tremendous turn of speed, that. He's going for those bull rushes, no. Turned him. Still going. That's amazing. Come on. Should be tied out by now. To mind this tree. Come on. They're real thrashers, aren't you? Real thrashers. Well, and what about that then? <laughs> oh, it looks like <laughs> there's another fisherman over there. There's a heron and he's just about to get up. He's off. A lovely sight. Beautiful. Now oh, the sun's going in again. Woo! <laughs> Look at that one. I just changed over to a surface popping plug and bingo, straight away. I think it allowed me to get out just that much further, but it's 
got into a lot of weed. Come on, easy does it. Go, that was a good fish. Takes her out of this world. Oh, oh. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, these Irish pike really do jump. That is magnificent. Come on. And it's not a massive fish either, but God, that's going. Come on, let's have another tow. Oh, he's covered in weed, no wonder. Yes, I think he's going to tow walk again in a second. Or is he? No, he's heading for that possum of Geaton. Yes, go on, what a lunge. <laughs> Oh, it's so much nicer. When you finally get the hooks to stay in on a plug, it really is. The trouble is, you've got a lot of weed around in this fish. You have to be careful of this. It doesn't go under the staging. Oh, that is a good fish, too. Oh, that's better. Oh, where's my glove? Whoops, careful. Whoa. Hello. I want you in, but I don't expect you to jump onto the staging for me. Oh. That's difficult with that lump of weed on to do anything with this. Oh. Wow. They've got some power. As most of my piking's done in the... done in the winter, they never fight this hard. I think I'm going to have to try and get this down a bit and do something with this before I can get hold of it easier. Might have to beat it, we'll see. Oh, it's a long fish, very long fish. Should be a big double, but it's, it's very lean. Now, are we going to be able to beat you or not? No, we can't there. There's some trees in the way. Right, I think... <laughs> where's, my, where's my plug? Oh, it's incredible. Uh, no. Oh, he's gone again. <laughs> uh, this is crazy, this. Crazy. Oh, no, he's... I don't believe it. I don't believe it. <laughs> Dear me. Come on. Let's see if we can have you in. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, that's better, isn't it? Look at that. And you've nearly, nearly swallowed my plug, haven't you? Now, we'll have to go in through the gills for this. Amazing, I've never had plugs taken like with this sort of force before. Absolutely incredible. Come on, out you come. There it is. Floating twirler. That's a nice fish. That's got to be somewhere around about, oh, I don't know, 15. It could be a lot bigger if it had a bit of a belly, but uh, superb creature. Look at that. Absolutely superb. In mint condition. Let's put you back straight away. Oh! <laughs> Careful. Right. There you go. Well, that's lovely. Mm -hmm. 